Hello everyone. So today we will be taking a look at Kaspersky Mobile Antivirus. Now for those tech geeks out there, you have probably heard about Kaspersky in the news quite a bit and the government's accusations about spying and quite a few major retailers ceasing to sell Kaspersky products. But I'm not going to go into that today. Today I'm just going to test the product. So let's take a quick look at it before we do a test. Now it's pretty simple. As you can see it just has the devices protected, status, the scanner updates, real-time protection which that is locked behind the premium version. We have a call filter. This is for blocking calls we have an anti-theft now kind of redundant since most Android phones have Android Device Manager by Google which kind of negates the whole purpose of anti-theft in security products but whatever we have an app lock that is locked behind premium and I'm not buying that just for the test and we have internet protection which I guess that's to block malicious websites. And, oops, did not mean to close that out. And up here we have the sign in to my Kaspersky. We have the status, which is the free version, which is what we'll be using. We already went over all this. And these are all the other apps. This is Kaspersky's VPN. I assume this is their parental controls, a password manager a battery utility, a QR code scanner, and then settings. Now I have not changed any of the settings once again. Now we have reports, we have the watch, which if you have an Android Wear watch then you can get their app on it. And we have uninstall the app, we have a whole bunch of options for notifications. Now that's pretty much it. So let me show you what we have today. As regular viewers know, we have 103 malware samples, so you know the drill. Let me go ahead and show you. We have 103 right here. Yep. Now let's do a scan and see what kind of detection rate we get and I will be right back when the scan completes. Alright, I'm back and the scan has completed. It quarantined 97 threats and it took 2 minutes and 6 seconds to complete, so fairly fast for a quick scan. Of course, depending on how many apps you have, your mileage may vary. Now let's see what we have left here. we have seven threats left so not too bad this pretty much matches up to Bitdefender antivirus free which I tested in my very first video so not too bad anyway um, that pretty much wraps it up for this video thank you all for watching and have a great day